No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That was the uh, infamous um, late ER Schwartz at Steamboat, which is now no longer with us either. No. So um, Johnny Gowdy played earlier, if you were watching. Maybe yeah. you caught some of that. And uh, we're here to say a few words with him and uh, catch up with all things Gowdy. Yeah. You have an ER Short story. I do. Uh, all right. So uh, Mr. Rocket Baby was releasing our album, Make Believe. And uh, and ER was like, you guys, yeah, I got to get on this show. I got to open this show. I got to open. He was always on the hustle. I knew ER since I lived in Houston, like the late 80s. And he like lived at Fitzgerald, who used to manage us. He like lived there and like kind of cleaned up. And then Ian Moore got him to play bass with him. And I guess brought him up here oh, is what happened. So anyway, so he had his band and he wanted to do <laughs> this gig opening for us. And we had a record, uh, like an in-store that day at Tower Records. Oh, and we showed up for sound check at Steamboat and Danny Crooks, who's the owner of Steamboat, was standing there with this he told me not to get er to open but i was like no er really wants to do it maybe he did maybe that's maybe maybe i'm off on that but when i showed up he was like er's in jail <laughs> he couldn't make the gig we had to we had to call someone and get them to emergency open because er was in jail he was a, he was a colorful fellow absolutely yeah uh, he was a great dude, very passionate, very about pushing very the envelope passionate. about everything. Yeah. And hey, it takes that in the music sometimes, it right? It does. It does. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, man, there's so many things I could talk to you about. You mentioned the great band. Is that band just on hiatus, Liars and Saints? Are you going to do anything? I, you know, we talked about, I think we might do a show in August. Awesome. But that, it takes a lot of rehearsal and everything sure. now. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So many songwriting angles there, man. Angles, so, uh, a lot of songs to do. We actually, we had a lot of, we had a good little chunk of songs that we did at the time so That's awesome. yeah and uh you have a would you technically call that a cover band sky record would, would you yeah. attribute to That's all it. things great i don't <laughs> <laughs> well i i mean you know we do we do tribute some things that probably weren't so great <laughs> but um i no, it's a cover band it's like a high to me it's like a uh It was. It came about so organically, like people just getting together to play for free on Sundays at Hole in the Wall, and learn five songs, and do it. And then it turned into a thing, and it's all these great friends. It, to me, I, I don't. I actually don't see a lot of cover bands, but the ones that I do see, and this is not knocking anything, a lot of them, uh, they don't have kind of like the rotating cast of hams that we do. You know what I mean? Right on. You know, everybody sings, everybody gets their time in the sun Absolutely. and is real comfortable there. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're usually the guy who yeah. does the and role. I, and I almost think of us as like a really uh, like cool review. Yeah, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That is a good way to look yeah, at it. That's, that's a, a great band. I've enjoyed myself every time I've seen the band, man. It's uh, really awesome. Yeah. But so. I, I mean, I do that. I do that so much, you know. I mean, I'm playing every weekend with that. But also, I've been doing a lot of stuff like this year. I was thinking about it. I just uh, did a song uh, with Kathy Valentine a couple weeks ago for, uh, I guess she's releasing a couple of new singles, solo singles, nice. and they're songs that we wrote together. How about that? Yeah, and so I sang on that, and, uh, and then uh, I, wrote, I wrote a song that's going to be on the upcoming Kimmy Rhodes album, wow. and we did it as a duet. Nice. Yeah, How about that? and I played on that record, and that was a ton of fun. And um, and I've been writing and you know doing this residency, doing bringing back my solo music. Last week began the uh, Strange Brew. I don't know. You, I don't want to call it a singer songwriter circle thing, but no, you're it's, having it's you know. A, it's it's cool because um, I this the songwriter circle people do it and and it's great and it's a song pool and everyone gets up. What I like is giving people a chance to kind of do a set. So, what we're doing is is a person plays first. And then I go up and play with them for their last song. And then they leave the stage and I play. And then the last person comes up and joins me for my last. So it's kind of like a seamless show. I love that. Yeah. That's Everybody great. does like 30 minutes or so. That's so cool, man. Yeah. I got to come out. And tomorrow night tomorrow you have? Night I've got Daisy and I've got Graham Wilkinson. Yeah. Uh, and it's down the road for me. So I, I hope to see you more often yeah. than not, you know. Yeah. I've got actually the great A.J. Vallejo uh, coming up next week. Yep, AJ Vallejo and Kendall Beard, who he works with as well. And Vallejo's doing, yeah, exactly all that yeah. stuff with her. So yeah. um, I think all good songwriters should be named AJ. AJ Vallejo, AJ Croce. Of course. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. AJ Gowdy. No, sorry. That's, hey, Johnny Gowdy. I was AJ. Change it to my name, AJ. I was. So are you getting uh, a lot of contacts from doing your podcast? 
You mean like musically? Yes. Yeah. In fact, that's how I ended up yeah. getting that Kimmy Rhodes thing because I, I went out and interviewed her and she was like, oh, so you're a songwriter. She, she didn't even know. So then I sent her a couple of songs and she was like, send me more. And when I sent her songs, she was like, hey, I want to do this song of yours. How about that? And then it just turned into a friendship. I've actually, I've actually, I've actually made, made friends with people and gone and like hung out with them after we did the podcast when I didn't know them. How about that? You know? Yeah. It's pretty cool. How did you get here? I don't know. I actually don't know. But yeah, that's been going well, man. Uh, tomorrow, episode 289 comes out. It's a lot of podcasts. I try to do them, man. I just can't keep myself on a schedule. What's the secret? How do you do it when you don't want to do it? I don't know. Secret answers. Well, look, it takes a long time. I'm actually working on another show with my old friend Anar from Gowdy. Nice. And my friend Ashley, and we've got a couple shows in the can, and it's about movies, rock and roll movies. Actually, AJ is our very first guest, AJ that? Vallejo. Right um, but we, uh, it's, we haven't started putting them out because it does have to become a routine, and you have to kind of work it in the routine of your life, mm -hmm. where I already have a lot of stuff that I'm doing. And how do I keep doing it when I don't want to do it? I think I just... I, I still want to do it. Yeah, I mean, there are days when, you know, I don't want to sit there and go like, all right, I played with Sky Rock, you know, do the intro stuff. But I do genuinely enjoy talking to everyone. Today I did three. Damn. I did three. I recorded three episodes today. So maybe that's the secret, doing multiple ones at a time so you can backlog. I, I did 17 years every Saturday in this room, and I did it until I didn't like it anymore. Yeah. And here I am. I know. Well, I mean, I don't know how long I'll, I'll do this. I mean, so far, I... I haven't gotten tired of, of, of talking to people and getting to them. Speaking of 17 years in this room, <laughs> I played in this room in 1993 the first time, right? So that's 21 years I've been playing in this room. Wow. This room's been around more, longer than most clubs. It's too bad you guys don't have a bar over here. I'd stay here a lot longer. Tonight. That's right. We'd keep you around <laughs> a little longer, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so you've got at least the next couple months laid out at Strange Brew on Tuesday nights. Yep. And... and, and um, I'm going to do like a balcony TV thing. Yeah. And I'm thinking about putting together a band. I was going to wait till Anar. Anar's out on the road this summer. And when he comes back, I was, I want to play, I want to play with him and kind of see just, it's daunting to do a band at this point. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of work and I've already got one band that plays every weekend and, and makes money. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of, you get to an age where making money for what you do is is it's pretty nice. <laughs> and, and looking out at people singing every word, or looking at two people trying to talk. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I mean, they're you know simple things of life. Would I would I prefer to be able to totally only play my own music all the time? Sure, who wouldn't? But I'm lucky enough that I found a, a cool group of you know, some of my very best friends for years, you know, for 25 years, I've been friends with those guys. And then you have the people like uh, Destiny and Greg who are kind enough to kind of let both angles go at their club, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of one-to-one. -one, so. Oh, I am too. I am too. They're great. It's a, that's a classy room, man. It's nice. Uh, the sound is amazing. The lights, it looks great. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and bands sound great in there. And people, uh, people like going, it's easy parking. Yeah. yeah you know? Absolutely. Um, sometimes it is, uh, I like to go to the general areas like the East Sixth area and, and, you know, uh, whatever areas I go to. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it is nice to go to a destination where you can have a parking space and, you know. Not get mugged on the way to your car. <laughs> yeah. But I see you out and that's another thing I want to mention, you know, I mean, you go to shows too, the uh, at the, uh, um, Bowie thing. Oh yeah. yeah. Chris Dye's show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that was fun. That was really, they fun. lay it down, man. Yeah. It's Ziggy in full effect. So it was unbelievable. Yeah. Spiders from Mars. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Well, awesome, man. Um, anything we haven't covered, what's the secret to, uh, being a songwriter of your, uh, ilk? <laughs> um, you know what? I haven't been doing it much lately. I'm back in the songwriting game. I am actually working on a song right now that I need to finish recording. But um, writing is really what doing it a lot. Bob Schneider is the best example of that. Like, it's definitely a muscle. You got to exercise it. Not everything that's going to come out of you is genius. So the more stuff you put out, the chances of you writing something great are higher. You know? You like the game, uh, Tom Meany and, and uh, like Ray Prim came by and talked about, you know, yeah. playing that and that work for you? Yeah, I think there's some different ones. I've played Bob's and I've won kind of with some guys from Skyrocket and uh, 
Susanna Chaffel, Dan Dyer, Kathy Valentine, um, sometimes Tony Scalzo's in it. That's awesome. But yeah, yeah. Should score a slot on the Go Go's tour. <laughs> well, Kathy's not my end for that anymore because she's not in the band anymore. But yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, oh, I forgot all about that. Well, now. I think they're doing a thing right now with like the motels and a giant kind of tour. I saw on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome, man. Thank you very much for doing Thank Up Late you, Austin. I'm glad that Appreciate it. Oh, this, man. man. It's Many in my years heart. Have so. been friends. Absolutely. Great. And uh, always a pleasure to hear you. Music. Can, they're working so cameras awesome. now. Can you believe that? Yeah. I'm like, hey, why not, right? It's a family run operation. And his band's playing on the show soon. Oh, and yeah? yeah, and this one's drumming us. When he finds another band that can play as good as he can drum, I'm sure he'll join. But right now, he's just blowing it up in the bedroom. So. Awesome. YouTube. So, but uh, yeah, thanks so much. We're going to do, you mentioned AJ uh, Vallejo earlier. So I believe Bad Bob is going to roll out some Vallejo for us. And thanks for again for doing the show. Tune in next Monday. Uh, we have more fun stuff for you. Yep. Thanks so much. Up late Austin, y'all. See ya.